All right, welcome back. Let's talk weather. You said that there are two very distinct possibilities that yes. are wildly different yes. that we're facing here in a couple of days. Yeah, so first, the next couple of days, it's all about the fog. We get fog during the day, our temperatures trend colder. We get fog during the night, our temperatures trend warmer. That could be a five to 10 degree swing in temperatures each and every day. Okay. Nobody knows what is going to happen. If they tell you they do, they're full of it. <laughs> when it comes to the weekend, we could either see a frontal boundary stall out over the top of us and see incredible amounts of snow and fairly mild temperatures, or that frontal boundary passes and we see little bits of snow and some insanely cold numbers. Now, I know everybody has looked at their phone and gone, negative 20 next yeah. Monday? <laughs> and stopped me in public and said, are we really going to be negative 20 yeah. next Monday? It's either that or it's insane snow. I don't know that I like either of those options. Can we get a, you know, an option C? Nope. Okay. There's no <laughs> middle ground here. And so it's one or the other. It, this is not a eat your cake and have it too moment. This is a full on, we've got a huge discrepancy, either super cold or snow apocalypse. <laughs> One of the two. And the next few days are a crapshoot as well. We've got a little bit of snow over in western Washington. That's now working its way out. Good news is it's kind of winding down. Bad news is those winter weather advisories remain in effect through tomorrow morning because of the impacts they're going to have on travel. Now, when it comes to here in Spokane, look, the fog's already developing. I just showed you the same shot not that long ago, and it had some breaks in the clouds. Breaks in the clouds mean temperatures cool. If you have that low-level moisture, that condenses, forms fog. It's all about where that fog sets up. If it sets up over the top of you and you get near zero visibility in Deer Park, Sandpoint, Pullman, Lookout Pass, Moses Lake, if that happens during the day, you don't warm up. You just stay wherever you are. If it happens at night, you don't cool down. You just stay wherever you are. And that becomes the wild card the next few days. You get fog during the day. All of these 20s wind up much lower. You get fog at night, all of these 20s wind up much higher if that fog burns off during the day. Seriously, that's kind of where we're at. Now, as we head into the weekend, I'm leaning more into snow because I'm a snow optimist and I like warmer temperatures. But if the front passes, Monday could go from 32 degrees to colder than Tuesday, that, that 18 mark. We seriously could be looking at a discrepancy of more than 16 degrees based on the overall weather pattern. Right now, we're building this beautiful ridge. This beautiful ridge winds up moving over the top of us. Thursday, we're kind of in it. But watch what happens. As we get into the weekend, this is one forecast model, one. It says stalls out starting Saturday. Through Sunday, it doesn't really move at all. And our overall jet stays the same. Really cold out to our east, but the snow just pummels us over and over and over and over as we get into next week. So we could be looking at tons of snow or we could be looking at crazy cold. I'm leaning more towards snow right now. And the reason I am is because multiple different forecast models have had that snow in the last couple of model runs. So I'm liking that trend a little bit more for now.